first. Welcome to this video. So we're gonna get on over here. Oh, hold on. Get on over here. Hold on, come on over. Welcome. All right, so for this video, we are gonna do my dog is right there, and when I make loud noises, she growls. So sorry if you are growl one point or the other. Basically, today we are gonna do this dress. Look how long it is. Ooh. I went to the thrift store and I found this for like $3, and it was a lot of fabric to work with, so I decided to choose this one. With this dress, is I wanna make it into a two piece. So a tube top and a mini skirt. And then that's what we're gonna do. First thing we're going to do is flip the skirt inside out. I grabbed a skirt that I liked the length and width of and measured along the side and the center of that skirt which came to be 15 inches in total. With the band of the skirt being 2.5 inches and the waist to be 12 inches. What I plan to do is take those measurements and transfer it onto the dress. Next, grab your ruler and starting from the bottom of the dress, make your way up to mark 15 inches in length. What I did was place a small dot where the 12 inches is and from that dot I measured an additional 3 inches to have the final mark be 15 inches precisely. Once you've made all your marks, you connect the dots together to create a straight line across. Then we cut off the excess fabric and what I like to do is cut above the line. Just in case if I were to make a mistake, I'll have enough fabric to fix it. Once you're done cutting, it's time to mark along the side of the skirt. I grabbed my earlier measurement and applied it here where I marked 12 inches in width from the top with the ruler. Create a slanted line on both sides so the skirt can have a slight flare to it and marked two and a half inches in. These are the measurements up close. Once that is all done, you sew along the lines on the side of the skirt. Then you are able to cut the excess fabric off. We then flip over the skirt and begin to sew along the seams to create a finished look on the waist. This will complete the skirt. Now we move along to the shirt. With the remaining fabric, I grabbed a tube top that I also liked the length and width of and began measuring the center and side of it which resulted in both being about 9 inches in length. Then we transferred those measurements onto the remaining fabric making sure to leave a bit of room at the bottom so we can go back later and sew the seams there. After finishing marking across the fabric, we connect the dots together and make a straight line at the top and bottom. Next we start cutting slightly above the line. I measured the width of the white tube top to be 12 inches on top and 10 inches at the bottom. Then we marked those same measurements to our fabric. We then connect the sides together by creating a line on both sides of the fabric. When finished, we sew along those lines and cut off the excess fabric. We then go back to sewing the seams both top and bottom of our tube top. And that is the final product. <laughs> Just kidding. Here is how it looks finished. However, I had an idea of creating removable straps for our tube top. So I grabbed old bra straps that I no longer needed and some discarded fabric from earlier and cut off two strips with the intention of using those strips to cover up the bra straps with. Once those strips are sewn together with the bra strap inside, it will look like this. Now you are able to hook it onto your strapless bra whenever you want your tube top to have its matching straps. And this is the final product. I was very happy with the results. This is something I would definitely wear now that it's getting warmer and I'll be able to. As you can see, the straps are hooked onto the bra and the hook can be easily concealed with a tube top. What I also like to do is tuck in the shirt inside the skirt to give an illusion of a mini dress. You can also add a belt, but I like a more simplistic look. And just like that, you now have a mini dress. You can also remove the straps to have a strapless dress or a strapless two-piece. What you can also do is grab one of the straps and use the hooks to wrap it around the neck to create a matching choker. 
and this is the two looks side by side, the before and after. I hope you enjoyed and found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.